In this video, I'm going to document how to fix the aux port in a Chevrolet radio. This is found in Cobalt's, uh, Tahoe's, Silverado's. In mine, it sometimes worked when I would twist the aux cord. And uh, as you can see, it moves around. Try to get a good connection. What happens is the solder breaks. So this is gonna be a video of me re-soldering the aux port to the circuit board. First step I'm pretty sure is to take these bolts off, two on each side. All right, now I have the four screws out. There's these clips here. Top and bottom, I think. I think you have to pull them out next. So let's get a screwdriver. like that the front slides off there's that piece then to the side we don't need that we just need this circuit board part so here's the radio taken apart I don't know if you can see that moves around flip it over in this corner here I don't know if you can tell, but the solder is actually moving. All right, so what we're going to do to start this is you're going to need flux to put on each uh, connection. I just have a flux pen. That's all I could find, but it should work the same. So just put, with this you press it down. Put it on each connection individually so this makes the solder run run together easier um, makes a better connection but you don't want the solder flowing to each point and then creating a short or something all right that looks good I'm gonna get a napkin and clean this up a little bit. All right, so now, it should be that all you need to do is reheat these connections again, and then it'll just flow together. You know what, actually, I think we're gonna need, to, gonna need to add a little bit of solder. There's one connection. There's two. All 
got three. Now there's four. Sorry if I'm blocking out my head. I can't really see it. Those four connection points, that's what we did. All right, so now this aux port, it doesn't wobble around anymore. So I think we made a good connection, at least in terms of structure. So now we're just gonna put this thing back together, which is actually really simple. It's just four screws and a couple clips, and then put it back into the car and then test it out. Clips are back in. Now it's just four bolts. All right, and there it is. Successfully put together on upside fucking down. Did I do that upside down?